Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and this Active Thursday video, which is going to be a little bit different from my regular Active Thursday videos. Uh, because today I wanted to talk a little bit about the rotator cuff because it's a very important muscle to work out but a lot of people are neglecting that muscle because it's so tiny so they're just not doing any exercises specifically for the rotator cuff so I know I have done a previous video a long time ago on my channel where I was talking about the posture and everything and this is a little bit like that video but um, it's uh, good to repeat this because it's so important. So I'm going to talk a little bit about different exercises that you can do and how you can do those movements with different equipments. So I'm going to use some dumbbells, resistance band and also the wire. And first I wanted to talk a little bit about the rotator cuff and what it is because the rotator cuff is the small muscles that you have around your shoulders. Most of the people, that is including me, have what it's called medial rotation in the shoulder area and that is when your shoulders is rotating in the front like this. I mean I had bad posture for so many years when I was younger. I really need to work on my posture all the time to not having my medial rotation in my shoulders to overdo it. So what you want to do is you want to targeting the muscle in the shoulder parts that are doing the lateral rotation. Sorry if I'm using hard terms here but this is like the most correct way to explain it. So lateral rotation in shoulder areas is the opposite is when your shoulders are rotating back like this and to get your shoulders back like this you need to actually targeting the muscles that are doing that movement and there you have the rotator cuff it's small muscles going around your shoulder blades that are doing the lateral rotation movements so when you want to target one muscle area like one muscle you need to know which functions they have and this is when it comes to all of the muscles in the body and when it comes to the rotator cuff their main function is to do the lateral rotation which means if I want to train this muscle I'm going to train it in this function. They can also do this kind of movement, they can also do like a medial lateral extension. So these are the movements you can do to actually targeting the rotator cuff but the main movement is the lateral rotation and that is a very small movement. It's more or less when you're just rotating your upper arm like this. So you can work out the rotator cuff in different ways. Two ways that I like to do it is to either throw in some exercises when I'm working out like back and shoulders. I throw in some exercises just for the rotator cuff. Sometimes I feel like if I feel a little bit stiff in my shoulders, I like to throw in like a warm up with some movements for the rotator cuff, but also some stretches. If you are medial rotated in your shoulder parts, stretch is also good to stretch out the muscles that are doing the medial rotation. Which is pectoralis major, for example, the chest area, that if you have tight chest areas, if you have tight pectoralis major, you are going to be more medial rotated in your shoulder parts. So to also stretch out the muscles that are doing the opposite movement from the rotator cuff is very good. And first if we want to targeting the lateral rotation movements, I love to do this kind of lateral rotation movements both in the resistance band and also in the wire. Uh, so what you have to think about is to really needle in your ables in where your body is so you don't want to move your ables out from your body you just want to targeting the rotation in your upper arm area if you're starting to move out your arms out from your body like this you're going to targeting different muscles for example the trapezius the neck area are going to go in and work and you don't want that because mo most of the people doesn't need to work their upper trapezius more because most of them are already tight in that area. You really want to roll back and down your shoulders and then start to work with the rotator cuff and you're supposed to feel this in between your shoulders and in the back area of your shoulders. If you're feeling it too much in the front here you mostly has not rolled down and back your shoulders before starting. And to do the lateral rotation with the dumbbells you need to actually move up your arms like this to get the rotation in the upper area but you can see that it's the exact same movement as I am doing down here when I'm moving it up 
here. But if you're standing like this and doing lateral rotation with the dumbbells, you're not going to feel it in the same way because your biceps is more or less the one working. Uh, so you need to move up your arms like this to actually get the rotator cuff to work in that area. Reversed flies will more targeting the deltoideus posterior, like the back, the rear delts, the rear shoulders, uh, and the rhomboideus, the, the muscles sitting in between the shoulder blades, but you will also targeting the rotator cuff in this movement. And one thing you really need that is so important in this movement is to roll back and down your shoulders so the trapezius is not going in and working in this movement. And I like to do it with rubber bands and uh, in the wire. And in the wire you need to have it alternated so you have like the right side in your left arm and the left arm in your right side. Did I say it right there? Like across. Uh, but when you do it when resistant band you can just like do it like I'm doing here in the pictures. And you really need to focusing on squeezing your shoulder blades here to targeting like the rhomboideus and all the muscles that are doing the lateral rotation in your shoulder area. I also love the diagonal movements and here is the same thing. You can do the diagonal movements with a dumbbell. I don't find the dumbbells to be so effective as the other ones, the wire and the resistance band, but you can do it with dumbbell if you don't have anything else. But I think the most effectively here is when you're using the resistant band or the wire. And uh, the same thing here, you need to keep your shoulder back and down and then really focusing in the top area to squeeze your shoulder blades here. So you're supposed to really feel it in your shoulder blades. And something that is very important is that never focus on the weights here, always focus on feeling it in the right muscles because if you're putting on too much weight when you're doing it with a dumbbell or in the wire, if you're putting on too much weight other bigger muscles are gonna go in and work instead of the rotator cuff because they are so tiny tiny muscles there so you really need to have like a low weight and focusing on targeting the right kind of muscles. That is like the most important Important thing otherwise you can just skip doing it because then you're going to work out other muscles and uh, stretching is also super good and you can use a stick for having like a stretching I like to use resistant band I am kind of flexible in my shoulder part areas and I find it more challenging for me to do the stretching with the resistant band as you see me doing here but if it's too hard for you you can start with a stick and you can just have your arms as wide as you need to go all the way around and then when you are getting more and more flexible you can just put them further and further closer in together but if you are capable of using stretch with a resistant band or you can take a longer resistant band as I'm doing here and you can do different type of like stretching movements with your shoulders and it's so important and you can do this every single time that you're working out. I like to cooperate stretching in all the movements like in, in between the exercises and in between sets. And even though I'm working out legs, I like to cooperate like stretching for the shoulders. And uh, so uh, yeah, I just wanted to throw in some exercises so you have like a bank with different exercises that you can do. And uh, I just want to do this video to give a little reminder to not neglect these very important muscles that most people forget about. So. Uh, Take some of this movement and at least cooperate them when you're doing upper body workouts. Like take two or three of them and do like a set of 10 to 15 reps and do them like two or three times. Uh, or you can do like if you want to do like shoulders and rotator cuff like one. Sometimes I do like shoulder and rotator cuff only and then I take like five of these rotator cuff movements. So really remember to focus to stretch and to work out the rotator cuff and stretch the pectoralis major because it tends to be very tight on most of the people. So uh, yeah, I hope that you guys find this video helpful and that you have maybe found some new movements you can do for the rotator cuff or maybe you have just forgot about the rotator cuff and I just give you a little reminder here. So I hope that you guys like it and if you do, please give a little thumbs up. It was a little bit different from my regular active Thursday but next Thursday I promise you it's gonna be an actual workout video. But uh, yeah, I hope that you have hit the subscribe button and that I see you in tomorrow's video. But for now, I say bye!